Ireland, my Ireland, oh I'm coming home Though I roam, sure my heart never left her O'er the dark rolling sea, she is calling to me Oh I'm coming back home to Ireland Get me the falter, 100,000 welcomes to Irish Paint Magic Today we're going to Sligo, up to Bin Bulbin. Um, I, any, many, many times I pass up there and Bin Bulbin is always hidden away in the mist. But today we're going to capture Bin Bulbin. And I suppose the reason is uh, there was a Sligo man challenged me only just a few weeks ago and said I don't ever pay that in from Sligo. So there's no excuse now I'm going to do it for you. Bin Bulbin. And just before I do that, I want to read out a few more of these emails that came through to me. And here it says, hello there, David. Thank you so much for an excellent TV show. We have recently moved to Ireland from the UK and have just, uh, and have just fell in love with the beauty of County Cork. Uh, we discovered your show by accident one night when we were getting used to Irish television. And wow, the whole family sit in wonder as you paint and your descriptions make your work bounce to life. In fact, my husband walks outside and looks at our wonderful view from the top of the hill and often looks and says, now sit down there, Mr. Sky. Uh, we have one here from Temple Moor. That was uh, back in McCroom in County Cork. Uh, one from Temple Manor Grove in, in Limekill, Dublin 12. Hi, David. A lot of people are watching your uh, program, Irish Paint Magic. Uh, I am painting all the time and need some more lessons. I find it so relaxing and satisfying. The main comments uh, are, you explain the whole procedure so well and make it look so enjoyable. It must be the Cork accent. And that comes from a very good friend, Sean McGuinness of the Dublin City Ramblers. And uh, I have one from Sunville B&B, La Hinch Road, Innes, County Clare. Uh, Bernie says, uh, if, your fa if her favourite programme was on at 7.30 on Thursday afternoon, she would have to switch over to Irish Paint Magic as her husband, Walter, loves to watch and of course listen to the Cork Brogue because um, Bernie also says that she enjoys the program uh, very, very much indeed. And she actually sent me a photograph of myself on television. And there I am, and it's a lovely photograph. So Bernie, thank you very, very much indeed, and the best of wishes to you in, uh, in the future. So I want you to come right up here to me now. I have the 24 by 18 canvas. And again, it's too slick. So what I've done, I got in the basic shape of Bin Bulbin. Uh, just a basic shape with a little bit of um, black gesso and that dried in just a few minutes with a hair dryer and uh, now it's all uh, dry and I've got to make it slip and ready to go. So straight away I go into liquid clear and I cover all the black area, all the black area with liquid clear. And it doesn't matter if you go up into the white area, that doesn't matter. But scrub it well out now. A lot of you people are not shoving this out much, uh, enough at all. You, should, you only want it to make the black slip. Now I go into magic white or liquid white and I cover all the white part of the canvas. Cover it all and again cover it sparingly. Cover it all very, very sparingly. And if it comes down over bin bulbin, that doesn't matter. Very impressive, I must say. I'd imagine that when he hears that our cockfell is moving on up along there, the Donegal or passing up Sligo, he pulls down the mist down over it so as I can't see him. Now, that's all wet, slick, ready to go. The whole lot is like a skating ring. So now I'm going to go straight away into blue and black. Blue and black. Right up the top of the canvas there. Right up. And I'm going to pull that down. And you know, I think I'll introduce a little bit of crimson this time. Just a little bit. Not much. Not much. Just to warm up that old sky. Just warm it up. And down then, another little bit of crimson, just to warm it up. Oh, Van Dyke Brown. That's not good. That's not good. Anyway, we leave it in there as a shadow color. 
has a shadow color. I don't know where I picked that up. Another bit of crimson just to warm up the sky. I'm being very careful as I pick up this crimson. I don't want the thing to go on fire. <laughs> we had a fire here in the studio a while ago. <laughs> just a little one. One of the monitors went on fire. You know how that happened. It wouldn't be the cockfellas fault. I'm not going to say any more. Use your own imagination. Now, down she goes, down over Bin Bulbin, right down and down and down, very gently now, very gently, very gently, hardly touching, hardly touching, all over, nice and gentle. Now I'm going to get out the one inch brush and I got to pull this paint out, titanium white, pull it out flat. And with the one inch brush, I come right up now onto the canvas. Now we're going to have a little bit of counter change where we play the light against the dark and, and the dark against the light. So I go in and count one, two, three, four, five. And off I go, off I go, bringing the light up against the dark and the dark in under the light to form a shadow. Right in, farm a cloud. Come on, Mr. Cloud, sit down there. Thanks very much indeed. You are a pure gentleman of a cloud. Now, again, back for more paint, and I'll use this one. I one, two, three, four, five, and off I go. Bang, 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 bang. Off you go, pick up the dark color, bring it in under the light color, bring it in under it, and off you go, and down, and down, and don't kill the dark. Don't kill the dark. The dark is your friend. And here, I'm going to play the light against that dark. One, two, three, four, five. And off I go. Bang, bang, bang. Make pretty knives, but make sure they're cork knives. Bang, bang, bang. Talk to the canvas. There'll be no problem. And if the guys with the white coat come for you, <laughs> tell them that the director of programs told you to talk to the canvas, you'll be all right. But when, they, when you tell them you're an artist, they know you're supposed to talk to the canvas. No problem. No problem. Here we go. And now I'm watching it and say, for God's sake, go away from it. Go away from it. And again, now with the two inch brush, very gently, like a whisper, whisper through it. Sit down, mister. Sit down, Mr. Cloud. Sit down. Go back, Mr. Cloud. Thank you. Thank you. Up over Sligo, Bin Bulbin. Come on, sit down. And then go away from it. Go away from it. Now establish where Bin Bulbin is, and there he is, all those years, sticking out, looking out over the bay there, looking out, beautiful view from up there, I'd imagine. Didn't, I'm not going to go up there, but we'll let somebody else go up there that's more energetic than I am. Now I'm going to get a little bit of Van Dyke Brown. I'm going over to the filbert brush now, the filbert brush. And the filbert brush is a half round brush. It's like that, look. Have it well loaded now. It's a great little brush. We might use it in a minute for doing trees and things like that. It's a good little brush now. And I'm going to get the basic shape of, uh, of Bin Bulbin. That has been hiding in me for all those years. And I finally caught up with it. Now, it's very important that you get the basic outline shape Reasonably right, okay? And she got and she whoosh, 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 down she come. Whoosh, and whoosh, fair drop down there now. Fair drop down there. And down she comes all along. All along there. And that'll push the sky back now. Get back now, Mr. Sky. Go back into the canvas. Very important that you talk to the canvas. Down she goes, down she goes. Now, that's fine. Wash the old brush. Now I'm going to get a little bit of, um, I think, I need a dark green. And I like, uh, we get yellow ochre, a bit of yellow ochre, and a bit of black, a bit of black. I need, I don't want it to be too, too, uh, too bright. No, a little bit of yellow ochre there. 
into that and I'm going to put the smallest little bit of green into it a bit of caddy along. that's pretty good that's pretty good now I'm going to go now to the fan brush this time the number four fan brush and I pull right in to that color with the fan brush okay just there go on along the top of this just a little bit now all along the top just put a cap on bin bulbin now I'm going to go in now to a little bit I need to highlight some of that um, some of that here there's a sheer drop down here a sheer drop I'm going back to the knife now just for the moment all right there's a sheer drop right down right down there and these are vertical strokes now vertical strokes okay all the way down there now I'm going to make a little bit of highlight color a bit of cyan a small bit of cyan a bit of yellow ochre and a bit of white and that would do fine and a bit of white now there's ridges all along there I tried with the knife and see maybe I should be doing it with, with and there's ridges all along there from erosion down through the years these strokes now are pretty um, they're vertical or near about anyway all along all along there now the knife the long edge of the knife is actually vertical now these strokes there'll be a drop over and they come right down there on the cliff face all along just let the canvas take the, the paint off of the knife for you it will take it off just talk to it nicely come on it's the canvas take that paint off of that knife show those Sligo people how to paint I'm sure there must be magnificent artists up and on that so even though I don't have any there I don't think my I've made any of them maybe from where we meet please God and paint together Feel safe, feel secure. ATA Security. Feel safe, feel secure. ATA Security. No. Let that fade out a little bit at the base. And now, I'm going to go back to the, the greeny color up on top and um, I think I'll find a little bit of caddy yellow this time with that color to brighten it up with the, the color I made I have already on it a bit of caddy yellow with that just to lighten it where the sun would catch part of that and go along all the top of it but don't kill all the dark areas okay don't kill the dark areas and let that turn out some of that growth will actually creep down a little bit now but be careful don't come down too far it will creep down a little bit some of it and uh, let those colors intermingle up there at the top all along and again now pull that along there very gentle very gentle Down here, I'm going to go in. All that green will grow up the bank there. Now, this goes with the lay of the lead. In other words, if the hill goes up, the brush strokes go up with it. Right up. And it goes with the lay of the lead, and some of that will come down to meet, to meet that. Now, this is going. You see the brush strokes going up and down as the lay of the land goes up and down. 
up and down. Now catch it very gently. Put it on down. Come on down. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to introduce a few little ridges that would be gouged out there. Where a lot of the water would run off when they get a bad night's rain. And again now, these are running down. They're actually running down with the, the lay of the land. I don't know what the, the history up here in Sligo is of the Ice Age, but I'd imagine it would have receded out here onto the Atlantic when it came over from, over from the east coast as it was receding and came on over this way and probably deposited a lot of, wore all that away, I'd imagine, a lot of it away. Now, I don't want to come down too far either. So just wash the old brush slightly and very gently then, very gently, as those ridges to sit down, down there where the water would run down there in the winter. Right down, right down, whisper to it. Come on, come on, Ben Bulbin. Come on for that old cork fella, come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lovely, okay, thank you very much indeed. Now, I'm going to make up a bit of dark green. So, I get a bit of sap green bit of black, throw in a bit of Van Dyke brown into it. Everything about the kitchen sink, the lot. Throw it in, there you go. Now don't bug yourself down mixing the colors. If you want a dark green, pick up a bit of green, sap green, it doesn't matter what color, add black to one side, or Van Dyke brown, and that will darken it down. And if you want to lighten that same green, pick up the same bit of green and put a bit of cad yellow to it or a bit of white, whatever you want yourself. And not to be going into the shop and looking at a hundred greens. Just pick up one green and let that one color be your mother color, which is the basic color, and either add the dark colors or the light colors to that. You will have three values of the one color. So this is the little half round one. I could go in now, I should be watching the clock now because I don't, yeah, okay. We'll walk away a while then. I gotta go in here, cover all that. That green. Now I think I'll speed it up by going into a bigger brush, the one inch brush. I'll push all that back now, push it back. Ask Bin Bulbin to get back. Go back, Bin Bulbin, go back. Thank you. Thank you. And here, all along. Thank you. Oh, she goes all along, all along to there, okay. And spread it out there again. Now, I'm just gonna put some highlights on them. Um, on that, so I go into a little bit of cad yellow, a little bit of uh, yellow ochre, and a little bit of sap green, all together, all different colors. Just tap into it. Right. So we need to highlight some of these uh, trees. So I'm gonna come right up over it, and down, and down, and stop. I just want to put maybe a little highlight of stems that might show, show through, but they may and may not. It doesn't matter if they do or not. A lot of these are going to be all covered up now, but some of them will save me the bother later of trying to put them in. Now back for my colors. And again, up over and down down on there. Just tap into it. And down she goes, down into the dark area there.
a barber. I must tell you a funny story, you know, I was in, um, I was in Rome recently and uh, on the Sunday morning I said I got up to St. Peter's Square just to, um, to see the blessing of the Pope. I have been to Rome many times but I haven't been for the blessing of the Pope so I said I'd go up there anyway. And uh, about three minutes before the Pope came out, he, I walked down to the square and I saw some people down there and I said I walked down and find out who they were. And uh, out of the crowd came this gentleman. I, I'm cutting across the base of this now to push all that back there. Out of the crowd came this man, and there was thousands of people in St. Peter's Square. And um, he says, you're the guy on television, he says, painting at home. I say, where are you from? I'm from Newry, he says. And there's a whole gang of us here. And uh, he says, you're the guy, aren't you? I said, I am. And he says, you're just after making my holiday, he says. I'm about to see the Pope in three minutes' time, and now I've met the painter on television. So that was really nice, and I want to thank that man and all the people. I met lots of people from Newry. And uh, that was nice. Thank you very much indeed for your compliments. So I'm just putting a little bit of um, a little bit of white into that now to brighten it up as we're coming a little bit closer. A little bit of white there. All feels all along there. And I'm going to go back into the dark color now. The dark color, because that has huge trees all along there. And I'm going to tap that now to push all this back. And as I come out, now I'm going to turn. As I come out, I turn the brush. I turn the brush as though the trees, they grow out for the light. The branches grow for the light. So you turn the brush for the light. And just tap in. Let the brush do the business for you. It will. Just talk nice to it. Say, come on, Mr. Brush. Tap in there for me. Thank you very much indeed. Come on. And that will push the old field back now. Get back there, Mr. Field. Get back. All along there. And all along here now, I'm going to push up because there's old bushes there. We want to push that field back. Go on, go back. All along. That's better. I'll just push the field back. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I hope the people of Sligo will forgive me <laughs> for not being up sooner. But if anybody, and I don't care where in Ireland you are, write to the, to the TG car or to the studio here or whatever, and if you, have, if you have scenes in your area that you want to paint, well, why not? Now, I've got to go back in here, send them on to us. And if they're nice and acceptable, if the director of programs is in good form, maybe we'll do them for you. But we'll certainly do our best because a lot of these uh, paintings are from people that sent in from their own area. I'm just putting in a few stems here with the knife. Most of them will be covered up anyway, but so to save me the bother of trying to, to do it. So I'll go back now with my um, lighter color back here. I've got to go in now with the one inch brush again. Back in there. All right? And here again now I'm going to put a few little highlights on the trees. But be careful now, be careful of the darks now. Don't kill all the darks, okay? The darks are your friend. And here, and there. that's fine. And you can see now some of the stems are, are starting to show up that um, I put in to save me the bother of doing them. And here again now at the base of that again. All along there, there's all ditches and growing a lot, quite a bit of it along there. Ireland, my no. Ireland, oh, I now Mr. Bin Bolton, thank you very much for sitting down there. I suppose you're there about a hundred million years. I don't know how long you're there, but you waited for the old cock for to come along anyway. There you go, that gives you a fair idea how it is done. Actually, when this will be dry, 
I can put animals and everything like that into the field, but I can't do them now because um, it's too wet. But when it does dry, uh, I will do that. So I'm just going to put a few little birds in the sky uh, before we finish this. So I'm going in with the liner brush. The liner brush. I'm going to show you this liner brush now. Go in with the liner brush. And you have to tend the paint out like ink or milk, that kind of a consistency. And roll the paint. Roll the paint onto the brush. And come on up here now. I just steady my hand with a mahal stick and make the letter M. And you won't be far out then with a bird flying over. The letter M. Spread out now, spread out. Oh, there's three of them flying over Bin Bulbin. And until we meet again, got a meal of Mahagot Shlan Lat. And God bless you all, my friends. Island, my island. Oh, I'm coming home Though I roam Sure my heart never left her Oh, the dark rolling sea She is calling to me Oh, I'm coming back home